regular dud test. First, we take samples from around the station. Do you think these ever get cleaned? A, E, I, O, U, <laughs> sometimes a Y. There you go. I'm going to rub a little bit on that and down here. My mom's going to be so disappointed if she finds out that I'm <laughs> germy. I noticed there's dirt on here. Mm. That's pretty sad. That's something. <laughs> Each before sample goes in a labeled bag, sure to keep it from Probably contamination. Yeah. Now it's time to bring out the clean waves. Do you want to scan beep, 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 Looks like Luke Skywalker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the instructions are pretty basic. Begin sanitizing by holding the wand as close as possible and no more than one half inch above the surface. Box head on your side travels from desk to desk with our product. Do I get to do this? You're doing it. Am I really going to? This is awesome. So much fun. Brad shows us how it's done. Doesn't take much effort. Just wave the wand over the surface for a few seconds and you're done. I got the power. <laughs> It's kind of fun to use, but we all notice you don't really feel like you're cleaning anything. It's weird because you're not seeing any results, like right away. Like when you wipe something down, you would see that it's clean or at least wet. Wet. And right. it's not wet, so. But we are hoping that this chemical-free cleaning does what it promises. I'm so skeptical how this is actually doing something. Foxhead on your side collects after samples from each space where the clean wave was used. Then we head to High Point University. Biologist Dr. Deneen Crater will help us find out if this wand did its job. And just color it. Color the whole entire dish. And don't press down so hard. Fox 8 spreads the samples onto agar plates, then they go into an incubator to allow any germs to grow. Dr. Crater says we could find some fun organisms. Yucky things that you don't want to even want to think about. After 24 hours, the results are in. The Fox 8 newsroom certainly had some germs. Most of the plates that we found, we found staph, staphylococcus. There was also a lot of bacteria, but did the clean wave clear it out? Dr. Crater says a look at the after samples shows the bacteria and the staph are gone. Nothing grew on them, so whatever this machine does to the organisms, it completely kills them. And our biologist says the clean wave would be able to kill more dangerous organisms like salmonella, E. coli, and H1N1. Because there's similar types of organisms and they killed the ones that we found. How will our results go over with skeptical Fox 8 journalists? I'm shocked to see that it did its job when it said it did. You didn't do anything. All you did was hold a light over my keyboard. I'm surprised that it worked. It didn't seem like it would. But looking at their before and after pictures, they were all amazed. Considering what was there to that, that's pretty good. That's convincing. That's convincing. And you did as, as reasonably good of a scientific test as I've seen. So that's, that's, a, that's amazing. Well, A, I'm disgusted with myself. <laughs> But B, yeah, this thing rocks. Like, it really worked. The clean wave did its job and inspired us, too. We'll be cleaning around here.